हाई एवरी वन आई एम रितेश एंड यूर वॉचिंग डांसिंग विद डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही दाता है वेल टैबलो कॉन्फ्रेंस इज गोइंग ऑन एज यू नो एंड आई एम फॉलोइंग दैट वाई आर यूट्यूब आई एम नॉट देयर सो टैबलो कॉन्फ्रेंस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर मेन की नोट वीडियो वॉज रिलीज येस्टरडे इट्स टू आर ऑफ वीडियो सो आई एम गोइंग टू ब्रेक दो इन टू डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस मोर ऑन द डेटा एनालिटिक्स पार्ट स्पेशली ए आई विद बी आई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस विद बी आई Obviously, they had given more time, more weightage to this very particular section, and there was an interesting start to it where they started uh, with three waves of analytics: first, second, third. They also discussed about the fourth wave, uh, which is the future of Tableau. That section will not be covered in this very particular video. Maybe in a different video. In this session, we are go- going to focus on how Tableau makes trusted insight accessible to all with AI. I will also show you show you the insightful demos with Tableau Pulse and Einstein Copilot for Tableau. So everybody is talking about AI enterprise, but uh, how you reach number one, build a customer 360. Number two, unify and harmonize your data. Number three, collaborate with AI. Four, deliver AI analytics, and last but not the least, deploy trusted AI and Copilot. Let's hear him out for a while. Here you go. We'll talk about really steps two through five today as we go through some of our amazing demos. Okay, so you're like, he's told me all about Salesforce. That's interesting. Now I understand where Tableau fits. Let's talk about data and analytics. Who wants to talk about that? Okay. So this is kind of like if we look at the last 30 years, or maybe more, depending on who you talk to. I talk to a lot of people, and I feel like there's been a number of waves of analytics, right? I, I feel like the first wave we can call full service and self service. You may have heard that word before. And then personalization or consumerization. So let's spend a moment or two on these waves. The first wave is really all about kind of like in the past, where you had to say, okay, I need a report, I need a dashboard, I need an insight. I have to make a phone call. I have to walk down the hall. I have to send an email, and I send it to someone. That person maybe knows how to code. They have to do some things, access a data warehouse. They generate a report, and that report may be useful. But it may not be useful. It actually may be something that I have another question on, and I cannot click on it because it's static. So then I make a phone call. I walk down the hall again. I send an email, and that. Pro- so the first wave is somewhat I can relate to that because when I was new to Tableau, before that we were using some other tool. So I don't want to take name of that tool, but it was quite a static means in the sense that there was a centralized team which used to make reports for for us, right, and for the other team. Like I was from IT automation services. so the same team would make reports for hr team audit team so forth and so on so when tableau came they gave us that option of self service analytics that will come in the wave 2 so that we can take care of our data so so he's talking about that that part only so let, let's move to the second wave now right now that you've got the energy going second wave okay now we're going to go back to the waves Because you know you want to go back to the waves. You're in San Diego. We have to go back to waves. Everything goes to the wave. So wave two, there were some side effects in wave two. And what were those side effects? Well, we started to think about and hear about that people wanted data on their phone. They wanted data, of course, embedded in certain places, and they wanted to leverage AI. Well, welcome wave three. Has anyone heard of AI? I'm pretty sure we've talked about AI a little bit. Okay, predictive AI, generative AI, and that's really what we've been focused on. And Tableau has been delivering on these innovations for years, right? We started back in 2003 with mobile and cloud and embedded, and of course with more deep integration to data cloud, where you can look at structured and unstructured data with Tableau. That's very unique to what we do at Tableau and Salesforce. Going on from there, we focus on Tableau Pulse, and of course our Einstein One and Einstein Copilot for Tableau. You're going to see a ton of that here today and this week. so he's talking about about the second wave which is more about uh, self service analytics and the present wave which is going along with artificial intelligence tableau pulse and einstein one and einstein copilot for tableau it's more about personalization right when you go to youtube.com youtube application so when you watch the home page it's personalized you already see the videos which interest you now with the features like tableau pulse which is specially for the business users you can just go you can pick your metric and you can see the personalized insight over there so now we i am going to move over to the demo what they showed for tableau pulse and what they showed for einstein copilot so now we are going to talk about uh, wave 3 in little bit more deeper you can say so she is elizabeth maxson who is chief marketing uh, officer 
right? So let's hear her out. Here you go. About this AI revolution, there is a huge demand in AI. Think about tools like ChatGPT that we all have been using for the last year and a half. I use ChatGPT every day, whether it's helping me generate my workouts to the gym or taking whatever ingredients I have left over in my fridge to come up with a recipe to feed my three kids. Now, as we start to adopt this type of technology in our personal life, we then expect it in our work life. We surveyed over 10,000 IT leaders, and 81% of them feel that urgency to implement AI across their entire organization. But there's a snag. 59% of those leaders also admit to lacking a data strategy in order to be successful with AI. So, uh, so she's talking about that 81%, and you you must have noticed that across your organization as well. You're not much using artificial intelligence for now. But everybody wants to implement that, right? So that's the same story for all the organization. And the reason is because companies lack data strategy. So they don't know how to implement this in the best possible way. Uh, there is some concerns with respect to the security of uh, data as well, you know. So they are going to address some of the points over there, which will give you more insight. So now she is going to address that point, right? The spatial Einstein trusted layer. So let's hear her let's, again. Let's talk about the innovation that Tableau is delivering in this AI revolution. We are making trusted insights accessible to everyone. Now you might be asking yourself, how do I know I can trust this? How do I know that I can trust AI to be compliant and ethical? Well, the good news is this is actually a really great place that Salesforce has helped us scale. And that's because our technology is built on Salesforce's Einstein Trust Layer. This is your most trusted enterprise gateway to generative AI models. And the best part about it is that your data stays your data. So that's the interesting part, right? And that's how during the session also they were trying to differentiate with any other tools in the market that they say that this is based on Einstein Trusted Layer and your data is your data. That means the meaning of that sentence is that whenever you're trying to generate AI insight, they're not storing your data. You know, it's not like that, that, that going to that particular BI environment and data is not safe. So the, your data remains with you. And at the same time, you get insight as well. So that's why your data is your data. Now let's move over to the demo of Tableau Pulse and Einstein yeah, Copilot. Hello, Tableau Conference. I am so excited to share with you today how our current and future innovations are lowering the barrier to data exploration. This is a world where everyone can get curious about their data. So I'm going to show you today how you can uncover a business. We want to make sure that Dakota can get up and running without IT at help. And that site is live. This marketing team can connect to data like Snowflake, Databricks, Salesforce Data Cloud, and CRM. Now, they have fresh data and plenty of questions, but where to start? Well, let's ask our new AI conversational assistant, everyone. Say hello to Einstein Copilot for Tableau. Right off the bat, Einstein is looking to be as helpful as possible, suggesting questions to help me get started, like, what are the total page views per day? And with a single click, I've got a view that I can iterate and experiment on to find trends in our data. So we see that we have a tight correlation between page views and subscribers. But I also want to make sure that this is as relevant as possible. So I wonder if Einstein can help me out with a filter. And just like that, 
we've got one in view. Now, if you know me, I've got always one more question. And I'm wondering if I can find the average daily subscribers per country. That's not quite in our data, so I want to see if Einstein can help us out. Let's see, can you help me write a calculation to show that average? And Einstein takes a look at my data, and I'm kind of excited. Einstein's seen that there's some aggregation that we needed to address and found some syntax that I had no idea was there. So definitely saving that calculation. And hmm, I want to see it a little bit more visually. So let's see if we can put it on a map. And just like that, Einstein saved me some time. And with that actual time, I'm going to go create some more metrics and also some more visualizations to contextualize this website. Dashboards are awesome. But I am thinking to myself, I need to push beyond the dashboard. I need to get data in the flow of work. I need to bring it closer to where people are talking about their data. So in their email, in their Slack, or even on their mobile phone. Enter Tableau Pulse. Now, it used to be that Tableau Pulse and this dashboard didn't talk to each other. But today, I can capitalize on work that I've already done right here. And I can create a Tableau Pulse metric straight from here. I'll continue the trend of being very original and naming it page views. And because we're looking at volatility, we want to make sure we see it in the spark line. And for filterability, I want to give my users uh, an ability to look at their own page. Great. That metric is now live and ready to be followed in Tableau Pulse. So no matter where I am, if I'm on the go, I can open Tableau mobile app and I'm greeted with metrics that matter to me. The AI generative summary is telling me that weekly page views are on the upward swing. And that's interesting. And I really, really, uh, I think that's awesome. But what I'm noticing is subscribers isn't tracking along. And it's normally pretty tightly correlated, so it's worth a drill down. I want to see our specific pages. And right away, sustainability catches my eye. This is normally a low visibility, low traffic page. So what's going on? Tableau Pulse gives me some questions to get started, but I have my own. What is the source of these page views? And Tableau Pulse is intelligent enough to interpret that these page views means very high weekly page views. And I'm looking at our top three sources. Two of them are environmental news sources. And they've recently written articles in the past week about um, net zero companies. And they've linked our sustainability page, which is amazing. That explains the website traffic. But what it doesn't explain is why subscribers isn't tracking along. So I need to get a little bit more curious about my data. I need to analyze the website traffic flow. And you know what I think about personally when I have to visualize flow? That's right, Sankey charts. So who's ready to put on their trigonometry hats and write some path calculations? So Einstein Copilot and Tableau Pulse part are over and they are trying to explore more, but I think you got the idea that how it works. Remember that Tableau Pulse is already available with the latest Tableau version. If you want to know more about Tableau Pulse, then you can find the playlist at my description at, or at the comment section as well, where you will get series of videos right from the scratch, how you are going to enable that, how you are going to create metrics, how you are going to troubleshoot, everything is there. Whereas Einstein Copilot is in preview mode for now, its beta version is available via request, but you need to have Tableau Cloud account for sure. Again. Links will be there at the description that will help you to understand how you can apply for a beta version or how can you can get 15 days trial uh, Tableau Cloud. Everything will be there at the description. So I hope this session was uh, interesting and informative, informative for you. And there will be other sections of the same Tableau conference keynote, which I will upload with a different topic name for sure. But for now, I would like to say keep on dancing with data. क्योंकि डेटा ही दाता है क्या तुमको सब कुछ आता है